This is The Backstory with Immobilar Steven. It's a balanced, objective, unbiased and disruptive conversation on government and politics. We shine more light on what has not worked and what would make it work. And now, to the finest personable and engaging host extraordinaire, Immobilar Steven. Tune in. You are now tuned in to this week's episode of our podcast. Today, we are going to interview some of the greatest and most influential minds in our field. By sharing our collective expertise, we will show you how to harness, control, and use your own skill set to achieve ultimate success and live the life you want. And now, please welcome your host. Backstory with Omobola TV. Now, on the backstory, we want to focus on what has not worked and what will make it work with expert and professionals who share disruptive mindship conversation on topics on the government and politics. It gives me great pleasure to have Dr. Sarah Sun Liu on the show, who is the politician running for the office of the California US state government. Welcome, Dr. Sarah Sun Liu. Oh, welcome, uh, also. Thank you so much. Invite uh, your show. I am very proud to. Uh, on your show, yeah. All right, it's a pleasure having you once again. Now, um, given all the economic, social, and environmental uncertainty nationwide, now it makes sense that inflation, abortion, and climatic change are all top of the minds of Americans. Uh, now, these are some of the impertinent um, issues that are rising, but for the audience of the backstory with Mobile TV, now we want to focus on infrastructural deficit and the way forward. These are some of the um, issues we'll be talking on the backstory with Mobile TV. Now, Dr. Severson Liu, what, what is the problem with the infrastructure of the United States of America now? Uh, you know, the uh, infrastructure is a so important issue in uh, you know, in the uh, in the politics side in the United States, so the employees uh, include uh, many uh, field of uh, transportations and training, as well as uh, train, as well as uh, you know, uh, many many other things. People only think about bridge and only think about transportation, but there is a uh, uh, water in. in infrastructure as well as the uh, internet as well as the screen infrastructure as well as uh, you know air, airport and the seaport those order we have a uh, problems uh, example like uh, um, you know bridge uh, had a uh, so uh, you know outdated uh, 70 and 90 uh, years old they build uh, still we need we, we need repair as well as the school uh, you know infra is uh, uh, Poor conditions now is that's why uh, people is uh, less uh, you know uh, late of go to the good college and uh, they cannot get the uh, best jobs you know good pay jobs as well as the internet is interrupted many many ways in the business uh, corrupted uh, those times you know many 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 times uh, many many hours people stay in the privates it also. Uh, take you know uh, impacted uh, you know business uh, time is less than uh, stay stay because they stay at the car so it uh, it make you know uh, effective every day so um, the most important is the uh, corruption of water infra because people like drink lead water so pipe every two minutes pipe is uh, broken so. This is uh, not only America, it's all over, uh, you know, the uh, maybe world, there has infra problems as we have it, yeah. Now you uh, you mentioned school, and I think that's also something we need to talk about on this show. Uh, now, Dr. Uh, Sarah, is education reform, is it possible in America? Now, uh, I'd like to talk about some of the important priorities that we need to start um, focusing on. Because you know, I, the Impra is uh, one of the schools. Uh, they have a good uh, environment to, to educations, more like good structure building, you know, more like good water and more like good teachers, more good, you know, computer. All those include Impra, uh, you know, education reforms. And uh, 
education, uh, that's why it's very, very strong, you know, education reforms. We need uh, every level, but, uh, but the United States is very uh, richest uh, company, uh, richest, uh, you know, company, they, they have provided uh, those infra to uh, PPP program and government program that are able to, uh, you know, build those infra, but still we need to improve, still we need to quality education, so we need a quality uh, environment to uh, reform to, you know, more like better uh, material to uh, providing and more teachers education and more like, uh, you know, the government needed to support those infra to future next generations. Yeah. Um, that too. Why is it important to uh, solve infrastructure problems? You know, the IMPRA is, uh, uh, because the IMPRA is so important that every daily life we drink water. If you think your children, yourself drink water, need water is well, you know, many diseases, uh, many, you know, their quality life is uh, end because of, uh, you know, every every people is uh, you know contamination or the uh, toxins. You know the problem is, uh, example, we have a uh, real by our living house. You know ha have a problem. Even uh, just one day we have a plumbing problem. We have a, a quality life is uh, you know interrupted. But every day, you know people they drink uh, water for lead or contamination is really effective themselves and then their life to equality. Example, even also, you know, uh, like uh, there is a, a society more like a black, uh, you know, the uh, society, they have more like uh, does not depend for those area. Of, so we need more support those black uh, society to even, you know, put the more infra, uh, you know, those, those every society is so important to uh, we needed to support those uh, so we need a quality uh, equal in you know, equal society have a quality uh, support from government uh, so that is very important the second of all why very important because transportation system without transportation system we cannot learning uh, business for example we have uh, Amazon we have uh, many uh, good product service you know. Uh, we are shopping, but they don't have a transportation system. Good, we delay. Even we, uh, even we. I have, a, you know, experience myself. Or in the morning, I go to Santa Monica Beach and come back to my office in Beverly. It take us uh, sometimes one hours. You know, normal hours we just take twenty minutes. So, you know, you know, many people they stay more than like a. Uh, uh, 20 and 30 hours, uh, you know, extra hours because of those uh, transportations, uh, infra is, uh, that's why infra is very important because our economic grew, everything is uh, through those uh, people's, uh, you know, uh, needed to working hours, they stay at the car because of congestion, because of traffic, as well as uh, one area, uh, they have congestion, one area traffic, you know, like bridge, example, bridge is broken in the older route of the, uh, you know, transportation would stop all the business stuff. So that's why Impera is just so important there. And then as well as uh, many, many people, they are spending money for uh, almost $13 billion uh, money for repair their car because of Impera problems in the low deal, as well as Impera problem in you know, their transportation. So if we have a good infra, we can save a lot of money for ourselves, or, you know, repair those cars because of those infra problems. So we have, a, a finally, you know, we have a more like quality uh, life and then safety, secure. Infra is safety and secure because even we don't know if we not like have a good infra system structure in uh, United States or uh, you know, any country, you know, we have all safety matter, risk matter, risk, we have always risk content. So that's why uh, we, we need really uh, for in economic growth and the more business uh, learning smoothly as well as quality life. Uh, we need really uh, infra, uh, you know, if you're learning to business, uh, like example, 
even one hour, it's, uh, you don't have internet, you know? And then as well, as just so many people, they are traveling to go to the business place is now, you know, we have a many uh, airport system. If uh, infra is not successful, they bought, uh, you know, the ticket and then million, million ticket is lost. That is a lots of money lost for, you know, uh, the industry airport, you know, the also needed the infra. So, so that's why it's, uh, uh, we need uh, more like dams, more like uh, to supply every day is quality workers, is a quality uh, stretch of a bridge and, uh, you know, lay load. And it, it's really important to infra, uh, to the our uh, life without those good infra, we cannot have a real quality life here. Yeah, that's why very important here. Yeah. Absolutely, it's very important. Now, we also have infrastructure deficit in my own country, Nigeria. Now, this is a very important issue that uh, we also need to be talking about. And now we're also addressing in my own country. Now, moving forward, um, what is um, President um, Joe Biden's um, infrastructure plan? Um, what are your thoughts on these and what's the way forward? Not only Joe Biden, uh, President Joe Biden, every president, even uh, you know, President Obama, President uh, Donald Trump, now is President uh, Biden administration. They are always talk about infra is very important too. Especially today, um, I'm gonna talk about Joe Biden infra uh, plan is uh, he uh, announced uh, on the uh, meeting, $2.3 trillion plans, 10 years, which is a, uh, one year is uh, uh, 2.3 million. But our infra uh, project uh, is, uh, uh, there is a, a few uh, plan is uh, uh, good, but the things is, uh, is uh, uh, you know, few things we can check out because of those uh, 2.3 trillion dollars where coming and where we can spending is really enough money to, uh, I don't think so there is enough money because uh, we need like a 200, a 621 billion transportation infra and then 11, uh, 115 uh, billions uh, repair load bridge. Only those two parts, uh, we are uh, spending those money uh, yearly, you know, uh, 2.3 million is not enough for, uh, to cover all the infra planned, uh, you know, even uh, repair as well as uh, even, you know, uh, construction new project uh, as well as a uh, uh, second uh, things uh, uh, because of those money where they're coming because uh, Joe, uh, uh, President Joe Biden plan to uh, raising tax uh, uh, corporation tax uh, uh, you know that is also a very big burden to uh, people so up to 2.9 percent as well as some of business corporation 3.4%, you know, almost 3.5% they increase uh, those uh, corporation tax uh, because of corporation taxes expense uh, to the business owners, big corporations, if they increase up to 3.4%, it is really be burden to the, uh, you know, those corporation because of uh, those corporations, you know, the creation jobs of many people, employees, depend on their life in there, but we have to think about the, how, uh, you know, burden of corporation, maybe they could close their business, how many uh, corporation will close, how many job was lost. So as well as the third things we needed to, uh, problem is, uh, uh, you know, political party, older uh, political party right now is uh, their emperor, that we call like a uh, uh, government, a uh, federal government investment infra program is uh, not really a big percentage because most infra project is from city and uh, Los Angeles, example in Los Angeles, Los Angeles city and state, they have almost 75% budget and uh, put the infra and only 25% uh, infra from federal now is a go of like almost 38 percent but most uh, you, you used to be 24 percent and even 32 percent 38 percent uh 72 percent is from city and uh, uh, local uh, state not federal so those money is uh, infra is uh, 
uh, depend on now federal money. Uh, and then as well as every infra, uh, we uh, have a plan, not even, not even only uh, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, every infra is uh, from Congress. Uh, they are, uh, you know, they have a, uh, plan and they have to, uh, uh, you know, Congress have to approve. Uh, now is we have a civil disagreement uh, between Democrat and Republican, two uh, big party to because they have focused one Democrat, they want to focus on transportation, infra, one another Republican uh, repair or load, load as well as uh, uh, like a, a U project. So they have a civil disagreement as well as the problem is uh, politics, uh, you know, for example, like, for example, uh, uh, Donald, President Donald Trump had a big uh, infra uh, strategic plan, but only four years, you know, and then later on, Biden and the state coming, they uh, have another infra uh, project because this infra project take five and 10 years to repair those, but, you know, the administration change really planned there, but really, uh, we are not sure to those infra is really uh, come true in our life, better life to come true because they, so the, the most important welcoming money because without tax increase, uh, we need to get those uh, done. Uh, so my opinion of, uh, you know, we, because of getting tax, uh, the money is coming from our citizens who pay tax, it's a burden to us. Uh, you know, individual as well as uh, so I am recommend. So there's a problem is increased tax. Uh, it's also as well as uh, those are all the infra. Another problem is, uh, you know, people they think uh, uh, load is uh, driving free, water is free, but this is not really free. We pay every moment we driving, uh, you know, uh, load, uh, we put the gas, you know, we pay full, uh, you know, the highway, trust fund that bring to those infra project, which is we uh, put in the gasoline, diesels, we pay those per tax in each per gallon, 18.4 cent, uh, we pay for per tax, you know, those uh, as well as uh, diesels, we have 24.4 cents each per gallon. So people think about, you know, they stay and, uh, driving load, everything, water, everything they think, you know, uh, public, uh, those uh, infra is free, but it's not really free. Everything is uh, behind there is, uh, you know, uh, there's a tax uh, problem, adding taxes. So uh, that's why it's, uh, I, that's why we, because of, uh, we, we, there is a, that's kind of, uh, you know, I, my view is that, yeah. Thank you, Dr. Sarah Sun Liu, for your incredible insight on today's show. Now, um, Doctor, you uh um running for the office of the California um US Senator. Now we've been talking, uh, we've been talking about infrastructure deficits in the US. Um, my question for you is that um, what are the solutions uh, for the infrastructure deficit in the US? Yeah, I already uh, mentioned uh, many problems. So to example is Joe Biden infrastructure. And uh, because it's we're coming to fund it, right? We can plan all the uh, infra uh, problem, we know problems. So how we can solve those solutions. So my recommendation is uh, first because uh, our political system needed to reforms because you know even we have a, big infra problems still is, uh, you know, we cannot see many load repairs, many people die, many, uh, you know, traffic is uh, slow there. Still, you know, infra is not fixed because it's our uh, political system that is unable to uh, feasible to, uh, you know, comply employment organizations. So example, it's take to Congress, make law, and then, you know, those, uh, any policy they make, they should be technically collateral. Technically collateral means, uh, you know, they have the problems technically, 
they need an approach where is problem coming, how to do they solve. That is most important uh, policy maker. They need educated that and that. As well, even we have a technical collections uh, to all the infra, uh, the each area, school and then uh, bridge and load and the airport, the internet, and uh, you know, railroad, all the technically we need a problem identity, find the technically collect uh, And then as well as the second of all, we need uh, you know, uh, politically uh, you know, supportable. So so many uh, we infra programs we have it, but you know, many uh, issues, many policies does not really accomplish during those uh, you know, policy maker uh, put in those plans. Because of you know those uh, you know bipartisan you know the support needed to, but there is a shortage of a bipartisan uh, you know those plan which is that you know one party of Democratic say yes and the Republicans say no and the Republicans say yes and then the uh, Democratic say no so you know political uh, support is so important to those bipartisan. But now it's uh, we are, are very shortage of those uh, bipartisan uh, voices. So we needed the Congress had a, you know, understand uh, those problem in America. Emperor, how people struggle every day. Is, you know, if for example, uh, you know, people are the, our children drink uh, lead, uh, you know, workers, you know, parents, uh, you know, pain for every day. Is you know, same. Uh, we have to really uh, understand that those. Uh, you know, Congress, how serious those infra and have uh, also bipartisan uh, decision as soon as possible. Uh, the other things, uh, you know, uh, we needed to uh, organization employment. So every policy maker, they made a policy, you know, even they made a policy that is not employable organizations, which is, uh, you know, they made a policy, but organization which is business and railroad company and bridge uh, construction company, all the who you know uh, the who are related to the PPP as well as related to business in uh, infra, uh, they cannot employable to uh, in their business to fix those problems. So we have to make it easy law, uh, less regulation to them to can able to imply, but many policy makers, they are, uh, you know, uh, they they are those three things technically, uh, you know, um, technically, you know, approach uh, those problem as well as uh, not supportable those political, uh, you know, bipartisan as well as not employable policy is uh, not really exercising our uh, life to change it. So that is the first I would recommend to uh, and second of all, uh, we, we needed to, uh, I mentioned every infra project, uh, we have a, a tax behind, it, you know, so we pay more tax, uh, uh, even we pay more tax, you know, we did not see that open infra project uh, in the road and the airport everywhere is we have a problem, even we have COVID-19, little less traffic, but still, you know, we needed to really, without increase those tax, uh, how we can solve those problems. So my uh, recommendation, because of I'm an immigration consultant, I'm a CEO of Global Inve uh, Investment Immigration, I have a great one myself uh, policy I can recommend as a uh, U.S. Senate candidate. So what do we have? Uh, we have E2, EB5 visa programs, People uh, invest our E2 EB5 program that they need to bring uh, eighty thousand uh, dollars or uh, one point uh, one ten one point million fifty thousand dollars to get the green card, but they only uh, you know in individual uh, direct business or uh, they only invest to regional center program, which is the construction company or individual company they have. Uh, uh, their own infra, their own benefit, not public benefit. They got the uh, money from the foreign country and then they build. But my infra uh, policy, I want to sell to uh, because of, you know, why only those foreign money to invest, not only E to EB5 project, uh, EB5 project to big money to only not 
uh, private back to private sector uh, do the uh, business uh, supporting. Why don't you, we can do the money put in the, our infra programs? They can get the green card or they can have a uh, own, you know, um, own, uh, own uh, even PPP program as well as uh, together is uh, immigration program. We can create some jobs to do other country money and then as well as uh, to other country peoples, you know, in the e EP5, we have creation 10 jobs, you know, so we can create jobs more. That is uh, uh, my opinion too, I can uh, suggestion. And the other things, uh, my policy too, I wanna suggestion, I started at Harvard uh, Kennedy School, government, uh, you know, courses of policymaker and leadership of, uh, you know, of public policy. Uh, two years I study, uh, you know, already, uh, you know, we are uh, dealing many, many cases as well as infra. So my recommendation to, you know, we have uh, all the uh, old those uh, bridges we need to fix, uh, but, you know, we have uh, uh, even $2.3 trillion. We even shortage uh, to put in the, all the, those money to the, why don't we can, uh, sell those bridges to the individual PPP, uh, you know, uh, private uh, project uh, developed company, they can buy those uh, old bridges and then, you know, they can fix uh, that and they can use it themselves as well as uh, uh, they can uh, let the other people use uh, by their, under their rule, then we can not spend those old bridges you know, to fix it because those uh, in the PPP project they do, why don't you, we can uh, build a good use system because our old example in California and Los Angeles, even uh, North California, we have uh, even many, many uh, previous breed is uh, outdated like 1970, uh, you know, we, we have so many risks, but we don't have enough, uh, you know, enough budget for that. So that's why we can sell those bridges to fix our uh, individual personal company. They can fix that, they can use them and then we can build a new infrastructure, new place, new, new system update one. So that's the, my uh, three top, uh, you know, infra suggestion to, uh, you know, as a, uh, candidate U.S. Senate. Yeah. Thank you once again, Dr. Sarah San Liu, for um, your thoughts on today's show. I can only wish you best of luck in your political ambition as a um, California U.S. Senator. Um, Dr. Sarah, uh, any projects, interesting projects in the pipeline you'd like to share with the audience of the backstory with your mobile Stephen? And also, how can we get to know more about you? Thank you so much, uh, you know, inviting me again that, uh, you know, to share all the infra issues on the, your audience. Uh, so, uh, you know, thank you for your contribution for, you know, the, through the show. And I, uh, my website uh, address is uh, www.sarahsenator.org. You can uh, see more of my platform issues. Uh, as well as about my, uh, you know, uh, profiles there and many videos, interviews. So I welcome to invite you all to visit my website. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Now, if you'd like to um, get to um, access the missed episodes of the Box with your mobile app, you can do so on any cross promotion platforms or any podcast distribution platforms to bump into online and do have an amazing time. Perhaps you would like to be a guest on the backstory with your mobile Steven, sharing disruptive mindship conversations on topics on the government or politics. Then you can mail me at mobilastv.org.com or bluebuttonscoms at gmail.com. I'll be looking forward to your mail. Come on, we can have a great year together and be the change that the world is waiting for. I need you to stay safe and all my love. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.